my lock installation took two days. That's December 31st, 2019 and January 1st, 2020. So the first half we did December 31st, then the second half January 1st. So we did not start with locks. At that point when I started, I started with braids. So that means I could have woken up the next day and decided to lose it. So it was not locks, it was just braids. Because I had watched a lot of videos about people turning their braids into locks. So we started with tiny boxes because I wanted to lay them in like neat boxes. And I counted them maybe like a few months later and it was 197 strands of braids. The reason why I started with braids instead of any other method of locking was because we had researched it and the braids just felt like the best option. A lot of people were doing twists online, but they were complaining that, oh, their hair is strong. I was like, okay, let me do braids. Since I had already watched other YouTube videos, that okay, they did braids and the braids eventually locked. So I started with braids and that was my installation process. It was two days, braids, 197 strands and yeah. And the hairstyle was actually very nice, like for braids. So the plan was that I was going to be interlocking my hair every month. That's the four point rotation method if you have researched on locks. And that was like, it was settled. Like I already like knew that this was something that I wanted to do. If you are wondering, okay, why did I lock my hair? I think I've always had sensitive scalp. Like till now at my growing age, like, if you pull my hair too tight, I'll cry. I'll, I'll cry. I don't care. So when I turned natural in 2016, it just was a lot of tugging, a lot of pulling, a lot of like you grab stress on my scalp and like it was too much. But at least in secondary school that time, like you make your hair every week. There's no, like you can't leave your hair out. So it's always like in all back. And sometimes I'll try to do thread or rubber and try to like keep it there for two, three weeks and I'll not make my hair. But after I entered university, and like you could decide to leave your hair if you wanted to anytime i lose my hair maybe i lose braids or anything and i just pack my hair into a bun like i would legit leave my hair in a bun for a week like i'm not going to remove it at the end of the day and comb it like that hair is going to be in that bun for the whole week and the only way i'm going to be able to comb it is if i soft my hair by putting it under water it just felt like I do not want the stress of natural hair. Obviously, there are two extremes of natural hair community. Those people that like dedicate one whole day to wash their hair. They finger the tango. They know all the products. They do all the rice water, onion water, oats, all that, all that. They do that. Then there are other people like me. Like, they don't even care. Like, if you stress me, even one strand of my hair is like stressing me. Maybe if I'm combing, I can easily get scissors and just cut it. Like, I don't care. <laughs> so I just wanted something that would not stress me. To go up. And I don't want to cut my hair because I feel like my shape of head might not fit me if I cut my hair. When I'm talking about cutting my hair, I'm not that kind of person that will cut and like hair is going to be there. Like, I'll still have to comb it and I don't want to comb it. So I decided to lock my hair. And for the first few months, it was like it was marvelous. Like it was, I loved it. Like I loved like, the fact that it was braids, but it was not particularly locked. But towards the end of the first month when I went back to school, you no, know, usually when you make your hair, is around that three weeks, four weeks that it starts becoming rough. So around four, five weeks, six weeks, like it was rough, rough enough for you to know that okay, these braids are rough, but not rough by lock standards. But if you just see the hair, like why, why has this girl lose the hair? So one girl commented on it like, well, go and lose your hair now." But I don't want like I've already told everybody that I've locked it, like it's locked. But plenty of people still do not understand. Till now, people don't understand that my hair is locked. And it's locked like oh they ask me when are you going to lose your hair when are you going to like it is locked so at that point in time like five weeks in people were still like oh this is this is obviously braids like this does not look like locks she already had grown hair and everything so when that girl mentioned that like it's true but like it's too early to interlock to relock my hair so i just said okay let me just relock a part of it so this side i divided as far well, if i want to do a side part so I decided to like interlock maybe two rows here and that like that decision like is the worst decision I've made in my lock history because it was too early to interlock and I interlocked and you know interlocking is not easy to lose even though I tried losing it because I tried to make it neat but it was too tight I know I have sensitive scalp you know when anytime I make hair and it's too tight if I cannot bear the pain I'll end up losing the hair but this is not hair that you can lose because i had already locked it <laughs> because i had already locked it and it was tight like it was tight i ended up losing a few but there were a few that i could not like unlock and till now i can sometimes like i can feel the pain the throbbing i don't know whether it was a bruise 
or an injury like anytime i'm like inspecting my scalp like trying to feel for the pain there like there's no visible injury but i can feel like this tingling sensation you know when you, i don't know how to explain it but like maybe when is the ant is biting you or something like you just be feeling one throbbing throbbing sometimes like if i pour water around that side like it to cool down but that was like the biggest mistake locking my hair when it had not fully grown out and at that point in time like <laughs> i learned my lesson like that was not a very smart decision to make and i continued interlocking my hair and i did the four point rotation because it was too stressful i started to do the two point rotation then the lockdown happened in march and maybe i locked my hair maybe like two times during the lockdown but from maybe april or may to like november <laughs> I not touch my hair again. I not relock it because I was at home. Like I just wanted the hair to like grow out. And at that point in time, I already said that I don't want to interlock again. I wanted to be retwisting. And to retwist your hair, your hair has to grow out a lot for you to like. Okay, decide to retwist. So for months, I not do anything to my hair. I was just taking pictures once in a while. Like I don't know this vlog journey. I rarely ever take pictures. It's unless I remember something. Like unless I'm just taking a regular picture and I say, okay, this is where my hair is at the moment. I think it's only two times in the past three years that I've intentionally sat down to take pictures of my hair. I'm going to be documenting the journey, the everything, but rarely do I ever take pictures of my hair. And at this point, when I'm making this video, like I don't have a lot of pictures and videos to post. So that lockdown, I really did not touch my hair. And another thing that I noticed around that time, that was five months in, six months in, that my hair shrunk. People were saying online that oh your hair does not shrink a lot when you're doing braid locks. It's only when it like twists that it shrinks a lot. But it shrunk. It shrunk. So the next thing I was like, I was like, this is not my hair. Like this is not the length. Like even when I pull it, like it's it don't want to straighten. Like it was it was tiny. So if you're doing braid locks, just know that your hair is still going to shrink. Another thing about braid locks, I don't know the people that said that their hair ended up locking, but my my braids did not lock. It did not look three years in there are, i have a lot of braids at the back that have not looked and the only reason why some of them have looked was because around that six months i started losing the braids one by one like to lose it and make it into twists so i started losing like and you know it's a lot of hair 197 so i said like okay two today two next week three one month like anytime i remember so i started losing the braids and making them into twists so the ones that i started since they've already fully locked so, so now there are some ones that are still obviously twists and there are some that are locked so anytime i double that my hair is locked they're like ah your hair is already in twist like this is not locked this is twist and i'm like yes the each strand of twist if i lose this twist it is two individual locks and i make it into twist because of, i retwist my hair at the scalp so because i'm retwisting my hair that new growth can easily lose so i will twist it with another one so that the retwist stays put so my hair looks like twists at the moment but they are individual locks that have woven into twists no i'm not doing it myself my sister helped me so they have been woven into twists how has my locks been my locks officially became three years just january 1st of this year and there are a few things that i've noticed about my hair it takes a whole day to dry <laughs> it takes a whole day to dry if it's not in twist my hair passes my bra strap length but if it's in twist like this like a little bit below my shoulder about this hair steamer thing maybe like in the middle of my second year or first year i think it's second year 2022 or 2021 in 2021 and once in a while i used to steam my hair when i wash it and stay there for like 30 minutes even though they say 20 minutes but like i like doing things extra just in case <laughs> so 30 minutes and i'll rinse it off even though like i don't know if it's working but maybe it looks like some of hair is not coming out so i don't even know whether it's working or not but i used to steam it i used to like the feeling of the heat on my scalp it makes me feel like oh something is working like heat is on my head so i bought this hair steamer thing so other products that i use on my hair i use dodo shroom to wash my hair i can either use it as the bath form or i can melt it in water and like spray it on my hair like shampoo and wash it I rarely use oils on my hair. I used to use shea butter, but I have a problem with lint. So I'm like, maybe the shea butter is like attracting dirt and everything. I also use this hairspray once in a while, once in a week to just moisturize my hair because I like the feeling of it when it's wet. But I don't like overdoing it because, like, if your hair is wet, like the retwist can get rough easily. So I do it once in a while like, when I feel my hair is dry. And I really like the feeling. So that's something I would recommend 
any other shampoo I can use any other shampoo, honestly. Like when people say like you don't use specific shampoos, I can't use any other shampoo, but I prefer to do shoe because I feel like it doesn't like harm my hair and it seems easy to remove. But I don't use conditioner because like what am I conditioning? Like there's it's locked. <laughs> so do the shoe. This curry hairspray and once in a while, vitamin E oil, woba and tea tree oil. But that's like once in a while because so do I have any problems with my looks, like cons for locking my hair? Apart from that mistake that I did interlocking my hair too early, I have a few others. Struggling with lint, always worrying about silk scarves and satin scarves and silk pillowcases, all that. Like, I'm not the kind of person that likes worrying about all those kind of things. So, sometimes, like, I, I feel the detriment when I'm like, okay, when I feel, I see little strands of cotton in my hair or something like, because you cannot easily wash those things out because of your hair is locked. Then the braids too, they do not lock. I also have to individually lose them and twist it again so that it can lock easily. So I recommend that if you want to start with maybe regular hair, you should start with twists instead of braids. Yes, your hair will shrink faster, but it will save you the stress of having to lose those braids and retwist them. Unless you want to do it, it's possible, sure. And the last problem I have with my locks is that sometimes you just get tired of it. Like you want to do something new, you want to do braids, you want to do different styles. At first, when I first started locking my hair, around that like second month or third month, I made braids on top of the locks but now like i don't i don't even want to do it but sometimes like when i just want to make braids i'm like <sighs> i don't want to have to make braids on top of the locks i just want braids or if you want to wear a wig <laughs> your hair will get too big that it's not be able to fit under a wig and, and if it fits under a wig it's going to be very bulgy like it's going to be obvious <laughs> that oh there's something under this hair then some specific caps cannot fit my head um bucket hats the regular size bucket hats like I've been looking for a bucket hat that's like big enough to enter my head, but there's none. <laughs> there's none. I just get tired of having the same thing in your hair. And sometimes I want to cut my hair like anytime like I have to do my hair or have to worry about my hair, I'm like, ah, I locked my hair for a reason. I don't want this stress. But sometimes like locks is not no maintenance, it's low maintenance. Do you understand? The obvious pros of locking your hair, like you don't have to worry about making your hair every time. Uh, attachment is expensive. Uh, hairdressers are expensive. Some of my friends are complaining about oh they increase the price of braids or uh, 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 hairdressers are charging so much. I'm like <laughs> I can't relate. I'm sorry. The person that does my hair is my sister, and even though I pay her, it's not as expensive as going to a professional optician to do your hair. I don't like that stress of having to worry about oh where else am I going to do today? Like the most, if you are tired of your hair and your hair is rough or something, and you don't like the way it's looking, but you don't have strength to do your hair, you just tie a scarf and go on your way. <laughs> like there's no stress. Then, no worrying about oh when you want to go and swim, like your hair can get wet and oh that's it. But if you are making attachments, you're like ah, this hair how will it dry? It get rough faster than usual. All those kind of things. But if it's locked, I don't worry about oh planning oh. Let me schedule this swimming by the time my hair is rough or something like i just okay let's go and swim so what's the future for my locks am i going to cut it am i going to continue locking it am i going to losing it when i first started my locks like the plan was that i was going to keep it as long as possible like for years decades if i get tired of it it become if it becomes too long i just cut it like here and let it grow out again so i don't have any plans of cutting my hair it's just lately that sometimes i'm just like how will it be if i cut my hair like i just want no stress life <laughs> do you understand then people will be asking me like when i when i losing it what's your plan all that but i also like i don't really have a plan of losing my hair i think when people that lock their hair they don't have a specific date when i go to lose it like you know when you are making braids you're like okay i make my hair first of march i try to lose it first of april like but people that do locks they don't have a specific date it's like okay i'm going to keep this as long as i can then when i'm tired of it I cut it or I losing it or whatever. Just some people that say that okay, they want to lock their hair for two years so that they can grow it out and they can lose it and continue with their natural hair. Do you understand? But I think majority actually wants to keep the looks. It's only once in a while that they get tired and they change their mind. So at the moment, sometimes I get tired. Sometimes I want to cut my hair. Sometimes I want to losing it and become natural again. But at the moment, like this looks is just going to be there until I come back to this channel and say okay. See you, I've cut my hair, or see you, I'm losing my hair. I don't really have any plans. I just like it's going to be here. It's just going to continue growing. So that's all for this video. I hope you took a few things. If you want to lock your hair, or if you're just curious about my lock journey, if you have any questions, please don't forget to ask in the comments and hit that thumbs up. Check my other videos. I make videos on creative entrepreneurship, 
writing and other things in my life so check out the videos and till next time